Now we're going to examine how much lighting do we need. The answer depends on what kind of task are we doing. Say if you're just walking in a hallway, you need a simple little bit of light to see each other and to recognize what is there. That lighting is called ambient lighting or general purpose lighting. For example, I'm sitting here in this conference room and trying to take notes and, or reading a book. And this type of lighting, the type of lighting that I need here is called task lighting. I am doing a specific task of reading a book. Or you can take out an example of cooking. You know, for you are cooking something and uh, you need to know exactly whether it is done or not, you need lighting there. That is again task-oriented lighting. So, it depends on the task that you are doing. There are three types usually. First is the ambient, the second one is the task lighting, and the third one is accent lighting. The idea there is you want to highlight certain aspects, maybe a painting, maybe a statue that you own, or any other thing, a map, you know, whatever you want to highlight, instead of highlighting the entire room lighting, you can highlight that particular piece with some special lighting, and that type of lighting is called accent lighting. And how much light do we need also depends on the age of the group, the age of the people that are in there, in the room. Usually, older people need little higher amounts of light than younger people. And also, the speed and accuracy with which we want to do certain things. Say, for example, a person is repairing a small wristwatch here. Obviously, they need more lighting, specifically, especially if they want to repair very fast. So, speed and accuracy with which we want to do a job also dictates how much light we want.